If you're interested in purchasing any of these products, please know that I have a 10% off coupon code for you. It's T Quilts One. Again, it is T Quilts One. Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to do a product review from Arteza. I actually done some rulers, some scrub rulers for them about three months ago, and I was asked to do a review of the rotary cutter. I will add a link to the video on the other product review so you can see it and then I will also leave you links in the description box that you can go and purchase these products if you're interested but one of the nice things that I like about Orteza is that they have great quality product that's at a reasonable price so especially if you are a new quilter or you are a budget quilter I feel like these products will come in handy for you so let me show you what I got this time so here's my container that I received from Arteza. It also came shipped through Amazon Prime and it had a larger box that was surrounding it, but I just took it out and then just slid the opening so that we could see. But this is actually a four piece quilting kit and it has an 18 by 24 inch cutting mat, a six and one half by 24 inch acrylic ruler, a 45 millimeter rotary cutter and three 45 millimeter rotary blades so that's what's included and i just like opening things up so you can see how items come packaged and i like that they always give you some kind of protection on the inside so because this rotary cutter was up high they put a few of these spacer styrofoam rectangles in and then we have a slot here where our rotary blades are it says on the package here that it's three and then in this piece of cardboard here is a slit that the ruler is slid into so I will just take that out and now we can recycle it on the ruler they actually come in a packaging so it can be peeled off peeled open here and you can slide your ruler out so I do like that they take protection so that when they're shipping bulk items that they are not going to get scratched so this is the actual ruler here and then we have our rotary cutter package very nice they tell you how to replace the blade on here and the blade there is not a blade included on the rotary cutter so I will definitely have to install the rotary blades. And then the last item in the box is the mat. And this mat is got a 23 inch grid mark by 17 inches, but it's a little bit bigger from edge to edge. And this also inside of a plastic protective sheet that can be peeled open as well. So let's do that. So again, here is our mat, and everything has Ortega's name on it. A nice feature of the Ortega mat is that it is two-sided, so you have your numbers running from one to zero, where the numbers are going up and down, and I'm hoping that you can see that. I know my tripod is coming into the, on the surface here. But it starts with zero and go up to 23. And then if you turn the mat this way, it goes from zero to 17. And the numbers are off to the side. When you flip the mat over, the numbers are now placed where they're actually straight to the line. And so I do like that 
and even on the one where it's from 0 to 17 the numbers are back on the line so it just depends on which side and how you like your numbers when you're cutting if I'm cutting I tend to like my numbers going this way not so if and when I'm cutting I like my numbers to go this direction but if you cut from the other side, your numbers are now kind of turned sideways. And I'm hoping that you can see that in this video. But yeah, I do want to commend them for that. And that also means that you've got lines on both sides of your mat. So your mat is actually reversible. I just had to come back and insert this clip because I forgot to mention that during my initial taping. And then on the rotary cutter, you have the name on the back. And then here are our replacement blades. So let's open our replacement blades because we need to actually install a blade onto the cutter. So I have the instructions here. It's written on the back of the card on how to replace the blade. I have never done this before, so we will do this together. So we have a screw here on the back that comes off. And I just like to place everything down. We have a washer. Then we have the actual cutter housing, which this screw comes out of on the front. And then it has another plastic washer that goes around the actual screw. So we're going to put our blade here. So when you get a blade, they come with some oil on them and so that they will just slide right off of each other. They won't be stuck together. And so I just like to take the one blade out. I'm making sure that I have it not in the area closest into my hand so that I don't get cut. And basically, I want to just lay this down. And if you have excessive oil, you can go ahead and wipe some of it off. But I just like to leave it on, do a few test cuts. Okay, so now we're just going to put the front part back on. I'm going to hold this in position as I flip it over and I put this washer back on and it has a little groove where it will lock in. So that's important to make sure that you lock it in and then I'm going to put my screw right back on top. Now, when I put my rotary cutters together, I like to just do a, a very tight hand screw. And then that way you should be able to open and close your blade with no problem. And if it's too tight, you can always go back and just loosen just a little. Now, the handle is very light. It's like an air plastic. So it's if you were comparing this, it would be lighter to any of the other uh, cutter holders that are on the industry. I feel like this is very light, little to no weight in your hand. So let's come back to this ruler for a minute. I don't know if I told you this ruler was 6 by 24, but it's actually 6 and a half by 24 inches. So I'm going to go get some fabric so that I can cut something out and test this. All right, so I'm back. I've went and gotten some fabric I need to cut. And I also noticed in the bag that it had a piece of paper in the bag and it has some instructions. It says, warning, to prevent damage to the mat self-healing surface, please follow these instructions. The mat is intended for use exclusively with sharp rotary blades. Dull or dented blades will cause damage to the self-healing surface. Cutting deep and or at a sharp angles may also prevent the mat from restoring to its original state. So I just thought that I would share that information with you since it was included in the instructions. Okay, normally when I cut, I don't use my mat for sizes, but in this case I am. 
because I need to cut pieces that are 11 inches by 16 and a half inches. And so I am just going to make sure that I've got the underside of my fabrics included in the cuts here so that they're over the line. And then I'm just going to pick one of the lines on the mat to use as a square off point. So that's what I have here now. And now I'm going to use the long ruler to just straighten up the outer edge. I have my rotary cutter, pull, black, pull back so I can release the blade. And I also want to wipe off any excess oil at this point as well. Because I don't want it on my fabric. All right, so now I'm ready to cut. Cuts really good. <laughs> And now I want to go over 11 inches and line up my edge of my ruler on the 11 inch mark and cut again. Cuts very good. Cuts like butter. My cutter may be a little, a tad too tight still. So I'm going to release it a little. And I just don't know if this is a tight pullback or if I have it too tight. So I will adjust and play with that as I go. So now I can pull away my excess fabric here that I don't need right now. And I now want to cut two 16 and a half inch pieces. And so I again am going to open up my fabrics, turn it. I'm gonna line up these salvage edges here just so I waste the minimum amount of fabric. And again, I'm going to line this up on a straight line on the ruler. I'm just using any line. And I want to cut at my zero edge first. And what I do, because just to make sure that I'm on the edge, I put like the one inch line on the one inch line on the ruler. And that just helps me to line up really fast. And then I trim. Pull my safety back cut through. It cuts very small. You don't need a whole lot of pressure. So it's doing a wonderful job. And now I want to do 16 and a half, which is all the way down here. So I'm going to line up and then step on the other side of my table around the tripod to cut this last cut. So I just cut through a couple layers of fabric and everything seems to be working very well. My mat feels like it's still in good condition. So I would highly recommend this product. And let's just go ahead and see if we cut like four layers of fabric here. Use my rotary blade. It cut through very easily. I'm going to fold it and now I'm cutting through eight layers of fabric it went right through eight layers of fabric let's do that again eight layers let's fold it one more time you should not be doing this this is 16 layers of fabric and it cut easily through 16 layers of batik this is a wonderful wonderful rotary cutter has very sharp blades
description if you are so inclined to purchase this system but i most definitely would recommend this system to anyone if you're looking for a rotary cutting system to take on retreats that you leave packed for whenever you're traveling to retreats or sew alongs then this is a great system for you to have I will put on the screen the date that I upload this, what the current price is, but please realize that prices will fluctuate depending on when you purchase these products. And I love Orteza because they always have them marked down. They're always having some kind of a sale on Orteza. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Please note that Ortega sent me these products for free and that I will receive a commission for any products that are purchased. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.